Today, the jaguar occurs from Mexico through Central America to South America. But at the turn of the 20th century, its territory included the southern U.S. down to southern Argentina. In the American tropical forest, it is the king, the apex predator, but it always wasn't that way. At the end of the Pleistocene, there were 10 carnivorous species that were larger. Five of these were felines, like the famous saber-toothed tiger. The jaguar was a species to be reckoned with by the first peoples that came to the Americas some 23,000 years ago. The jaguar has represented power, ferocity, and wisdom. For the Maya, the jaguar was the ruler of the underworld. Here at the Temple of the Jaguar at Chichen Itza in Mexico, the king would walk below a carved procession of jaguars at his coronation. Today, the modern Maya symbolize themselves as the jaguar and the cow as the Spanish conquistadores. You get the point. With the advent of Europeans, Jaguar population have declined dramatically, so it is very difficult to see one in the wild. The only reliable location to observe jaguars these days is in the Pantanal, the world's largest wetland. This nearly pristine wilderness is larger than England and is located mostly in Brazil, but also Bolivia and Paraguay. After many years of protection in the northern Pantanal, jaguars have become habituated to people. Their habitats here include forest on higher ground. Oh, and that's a big termite nest. The jaguar is the third largest cat in the world. Only tigers and lions are larger. Their weight varies from an average of 50 kilos from central Mexico to 95 kilos in the Pantanal. Some individuals in the Pantanal have weighed in at 135 kilos. The jaguar's coat makes for good camouflage in habitats of dense forests with patchy shadows. Jaguars that inhabit wet rainforest are often darker and smaller compared to those in open wetlands. And you may have heard of black panthers. That's the melanistic form of jaguars and it's a phase inherited by a dominant allele. It's not very common. While jaguars live in a variety of tropical and subtropical forests, as well as in wetlands and grasslands, they prefer a life along a river or in a swamp. Swamps do have a major quality of life problem. Mosquitoes. No matter how big you are, tiny mosquitoes can make your life miserable. The Jabiru stork uses this technique against the mosquitoes and Brazilian tapers head for a pool to avoid them. Jaguars are big animals, and they need to eat an average of 1.4 kilos of meat per day. The jaguar's bite force is 1,500 pounds per square inch. That's twice that of a tiger. This allows them to crack the shell of turtles, which may have been their main prey after the late Pleistocene extinctions. It also helps them crush the skulls of capybaras and caiman which are the jaguar's main prey items in the Pantanal. While jaguars hunt at dusk and at night in most of their range, in the Pantanal, hunting time is at midday, when the caiman come ashore to heat up. Jaguars stalk and ambush their prey, often attacking from cover or from their victim's blind spot. 
A quick pounce usually does the job. After crushing the skull, the carcass is dragged into a thicket or concealed area to consume it. They often patrol slowly, hoping to find a prey. Something's going on here. Usually jaguars hunt alone, but here two brothers are teaming up. In certain parts of the Pantanal, jaguars feed exclusively on caiman and fish. Throughout their extensive range, the jaguar's diet includes 111 wild species, ranging in size from a 1 kilo rabbit to a 130 kilo taper. They are excellent swimmers. But in general, throughout their range, the preferred food are capybaras and ant eaters. High on the list are marsh deer, tamanduas, peccary, and agoutis. They are opportunistic at times. Other species include rocket deer and armadillos, and even large birds like curassows. And if they hunt at night, Pacas are always good. They are even known to catch a primate now and again. While not common prey, they do sometimes kill and eat taper and anacondas. Depending on the season, jaguars need to feed at least once a week in the dry season and once every 16 days in the wet season. Female jaguars reach sexual maturity at two and a half years, and males at three to four years. Sexual encounters can last up to five days. Predators. Some people like them, others don't. But the ecosystem can't function without them. Female jaguars will have one to two cubs. Cubs are weaned at three months, but remain in the birth den for additional six months. Then the cubs stay close to mom for up to two years. They have a lot to learn. Territoriality of jaguars is interesting, but begins with first come, first serve, and only changes when the owner dies and the ranges of the neighbors are adjusted. This system is the same as in tigers, leopards, and pumas. These two brothers will soon split up and roam around, often far away, until they find a home territory. Ranges of males and females may overlap, but usually not the inner core area. Jaguars are considered to be ecologically similar to leopards, and although jaguars are larger, they feed on smaller prey. This could be the result of the loss of 50 species of large herbivores during the Pleistocene. Jaguars just don't have the choices anymore. This young one is learning to climb, and in general, jaguars are good climbers, but they are not known to attack their prey from trees. This young cub is wondering what this giant river otter is all about. Home ranges depend on many factors, such as prey abundance, level of deforestation, and human population. 
For male jaguars, it can vary from 25 square kilometers to 800 square kilometers in desert areas. Notice its lighter coloration. The whole family likes to play near the water, even more so than tigers do. Mom will play with the cubs, and the cubs will play with each other. Females with cubs avoid males. There have been cases where males will kill even their own cubs. Jaguars and giant river otters have an interesting relationship. They are both aggressive apex predators, but often will have these Mexican standoffs. A sleeping otter would be an easy prey. Jaguars routinely spray urine to mark their territory. They also cheek rub and claw to show their territory. However, studies show that males do not show strong aggressive behavior towards their territorial defense. That strong smelling urine may be enough to put them off. This family has a lot to worry about. Jaguars develop adult structural calls without having to learn them from other jaguars. Their vocalizations can be called grunts or low pitch roars or chuffs. Unfortunately, jaguars will attack cattle, especially in areas where their native prey is not abundant. Retaliatory killings are a major threat to the jaguars. New techniques are being developed to defuse this conflict between cattle ranchers and jaguars, one of which is the use of fireworks to scare them off. But what about jaguars eating people? It turns out they don't like to eat people. And in fact, jaguars are the least likely to kill humans of all the big cats. Out of ignorance, the Spanish conquistadores were scared to death of them. But as Charles Darwin noted, the natives of South America told him they did not have to fear jaguars as long as capybaras were abundant. That's a good ecology lesson. There have been some verified deaths, and the first official record dates to June 2008 in Brazil. The chances of a person getting attacked by a jaguar are slim to none, but the chances of jaguars going extinct increase constantly. Hopefully, there will be a few places left in the Americas where there is enough habitat for even this magnificent apex predator to survive in.